Hi everyone, we're here with another gameplay video for you guys. This is going to be uh, Mickey's Parade Mickey's High Roller video. If you're new to the channel, the way it works is I'll be playing three back-to-back -back unscripted games with him. Uh, I feel this gives you a better impression of what his average coin earning potential is like compared to, say, me posting a highlight reel video of when I got 300% uh, more coin than I would on average with him and then leading you astray with your expectations as to uh, what Parade Mickey can do at SL6. So um, with the 1800 investment, well 2300 investment for the 5 to 4 in the coin booster item, uh, we're trying to get at least 3500 base coin uh, to justify the cost of these two items. Let's see if Parade Mickey can do that on average. So let's get into the first game and see what we can achieve here. And uh, hopefully he can do it. Otherwise, I wouldn't recommend using those items for him uh, as they will cost you more than they will earn you. Don't shy away from making longer chains, guys. If you are able to uh, incorporate creating time bubbles manually into your gameplay, that's going to benefit you drastically with basically any Tsum Tsum you will ever play in this game. So uh, do try to make those time bubbles yourself if you can, like that. And um, yeah, it's going to come in handy. light on the mickeys on here come on we're gonna need a few more if we're gonna make this work we're only at 2,000 coin right now that's just not good enough guys not good enough Don't hit the Arlo, damn it. I was really hoping uh, the large Arlo head wouldn't be cleared by the special so I could try and squeeze another time bubble out of it. Oh no, oh, should have definitely hit that. That was my fault guys, but 3000 base coin the first time around. Uh, actually, more than that. Let's see how much we get after the uh, 3,100. Not bad, not bad. If we were able to reinitiate the skill that time, certainly we would have reached 3,500. So that one is on me. And uh, fortunately, the coin booster item rescued us by giving us 1,000 coin extra. So it paid for itself and gave us an extra 500. So not bad. Uh, we got away with that one. Let's see how we do in the second game here. Really bad start in the second round here. Come on. Come on, game. Come on. I'm going to need a bunch of Mickeys on screen to uh, help us recover a little bit.
Remember, long chains also give you a ton of gold, so uh, there's always that as well. Aw, oh, damn it. About the same. And uh, this time there wasn't much we could do. Let's see if the third and final game is going to raise the average high enough so all three games fall at about the 3,500 mark we're looking for. Alright, here we go. Final bout. Uh, Rocky versus Apollo Creed. Oh. Oh, the question is, which one are we? I'll tell you after uh, this this game. That was horrible, but hopefully we'll be able to recover from it. At the worst, we completed the Sparkling Light mission, so... Yay. 20 seconds to get, like, another 2,000 coin. Damn, this is gonna be a... Uh, Entertaining to say the least. Oh man, pressure's on. Oh man, all right, all right, all right. We got this, right? Right? Are we gonna be champion Rocky or has been champion Apollo Creed? Oh, so close. Holy shit. <laughs> so, even though we made a, a relatively big mistake in, in this game, we ended up with the most coin in this one out of the three games. Now, our average over the three games is essentially 3,100, uh, or maybe 3,070-ish, which is not enough to make the 5 to 4 worthwhile using. Uh, it is definitely enough to use the coin booster item on its own because generally speaking, the 5 to 4 bonus item will add about 1,000 to 1,500 more coin to your overall base earnings. So if you take that cost away, um, or that earning away, you're saving 1800 by not using it, and also it, it kind of about evens out. So you'll be making around 1600 to 2000 base coin on average with Mickey without the 5 to 4. Uh, so that 500 coin booster is going to come in rather handy uh, without that uh, booster on top of it. So uh, that is my conclusion, guys. He's not worth using the 5 to 4, but definitely worth using the coin booster on at skill 6. If you have any questions, comments, requests for videos, leave them all in the comments section below, and I'll make sure to get back to you as quickly as I can. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and see you next time.